guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing 10 items, 10 outfits. Um, I wanted to do this challenge not because I see myself as super fashionable. Um, by the way, excuse my hoodie if we're all around that topic. Um, I just realized that most of the pieces in this are like my favorite sweaters and it's really cold. So I decided to put on this for the intro. Um, so sorry for that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this not because I think I'm like super fashionable or anything or I, I don't I think I have that skill at all I just kind of wear what's comfortable and what I think looks nice on me um, but I wanted to do this to challenge myself to see if I can uh, make a lot of outfits with a small amount of clothes because I think most people have way too many clothes not everybody of course but a lot of people do um, and I wanted to see if if I minimize my closet if I could still uh, wear things that I like. Um, sorry, my hair is really annoying me right now. Okay, um, so I'm gonna show you the items now. Okay guys, so let's get into the items. I am, have them all here hung over my chair because I my fancy clothing rack is full of actual clothing and I don't have an extra one because my room is not that large. Um, so the first top is this top. I actually don't wear this one a lot. It's a long, um, like it's I think it's called camel brown turtleneck and I don't wear it a lot because I don't know why but I thought it would go well with the items I picked out so I hope I get some more outfit options out of this one and otherwise I can probably you know donate it or sell it if I don't like any of the outfits I make with it so yes this one put them over here um, then this is one of my favorite sweaters you guys have probably seen this in a lot of my videos oh also I want to say that um, any of the brands that you may see on the tags I do not support these fast fashion brands anymore this is just my old clothing um, but I want to let you know that I do not in any way support these this is just my old clothing and I want to get use out of them um, so yeah and I'm sure you can find a lot of this in thrift stores uh, you know and I'm only thrifting right now so you guys know and occasionally buying from a sustainable or ethical brand for like shoes and you know things like socks and underwear because I don't think that's really nice to buy secondhand um but yeah just wanted to let them know let you let you guys know that that's that this is one of my favorite sweaters it looks kind of long right now I don't know it's kind of cropped but not really cropped it's kind of in that awkward mid-length which I like um, and it has three buttons and you can unbutton or, or button it and it's covered in my dog, uh, his hair, not my actual dog. Um, but yeah, I love this sweater and because you can wear it open and closed, I think this is a very versatile piece and it's good for um, this like wardrobe-y thing. This top is more of a summery top. Uh, I got this uh, second hand. I didn't buy it at the thrift store, but I got it from somebody else and I really liked it, only it was long, so I just chopped it and I just I didn't even hem it I just pulled it and this is super nice I actually work out in this a lot um, and I just wear this around the house it's super comfy I don't know what is on it um, I see it's an eagle and some words but I can't read the words if you guys know what this is uh, yeah let me know in the comments down below I'd like to know it's from I don't know it's from a brand but I really like the pattern I'm gonna see if I can show you it's like a weird like it looks kind of dirty, like it's been rubbed in dirt or something, but I kind of like that vibe. And as you guys can see, these are all kind of neutral tones. So, yeah, it's kind of boring. Well, I say that while I'm wearing a blue sweater. Um, but yeah, these are my most worn clothes, and I love all of these. Um, this is my other most worn sweater, and it's just plain. It's gray. I think most people will have a plain gray sweater in their closet. So, uh, yeah, this is... It's really comfy, it's warm, uh, and yeah, I like this one a lot. Then I thought I'd do some fancy stuff, so I got a blazer. I actually got this a really long time ago when I still shopped fast fashion. I think it was not a really long time ago, but for the span of my lifetime, which is now about almost 18 years, um, it's a lot. So I think got this like a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Um, and, um, yeah, this is just a long blazer. I actually wore it for, like, the second time 
um, last weekend. So, and I actually really enjoyed it. I went to the movie that it, cause it's, it's like, it looks fancy, but it's comfortable. So that's right up my alley. That's kind of, uh, my style is I like to look a little sophisticated. I say again, while wearing a hoodie, but <laughs> with, uh, comfort, that's most important to me. This is also one of my favorite tops. It looks a little see-through here, but I don't think it's actually see-through on. Um, again, bought this when I was still buying fast fashion, but it's super cool. I like the pattern. I think, uh, yeah, I think pattern blouse is also probably you can find it at a thrift store. You can definitely find a pattern blouse at a thrift store. Probably not exactly this one, but you could find a nice plain pattern and I like this because it's a little bit more exciting than just something black or something white um, but it's still very toned down and I love that it has buttons on it but like this is my problem with fast fashion what is this why did we have to do these like weird I don't even understand I remember when I wanted to buy this top and I was like but it has this you know when they make that pre-tie and I'm like I know how to tie a shirt that doesn't have ties myself why do you have to add ties it makes it a lot less versatile but usually i just tuck it in so i don't really care um but yeah that's one of my favorite fancier tops and then i have two full bodies i actually have the summer dress because i thought it'd be fun to incorporate a more summery thing into it and this one is actually my mom's uh she had this when she lived i'm just gonna show you the pattern because i think it's really pretty it's like more of a brown. I think this is very nice for fall too with the colors. And it is a maxi dress. It's super long. Um, yeah, and so this is actually secondhand. I don't know where my mom bought it or if she got it secondhand. I really don't know, but I did. So it's getting, I got it from her. So it's getting its like second lifespan at least. Uh, and I really love this. And I thought it would be fun to do something a little different. Then I have another full body which is this pantsuit. And I got this one's for like a photo shoot. I think it does have pockets. It has pockets. Um, don't be surprised, it fits me still because uh, when I got it was super tight. <laughs> so, because I was dumb and I bought something that I could fit into if I stood, but if I sat down, it was kind of a danger zone. I just hit straight like a mannequin. Um, so we'll see if this fits. If you don't see this, then I've probably replaced it with something else. Um, but I wanted to try it now. I think of, I think it will still fit. Um, but yeah, it's just pinstriped, and I thought it would be fun to match it with the suit for like a crazy like pattern pattern moment, which I never do. But I thought we could try it maybe. Uh, then I have my two bottoms, and these are also uh, from my mom from New York. So these are actual. Uh, flared pants you know the flared black pants that everybody wore like a year or two ago but these are actually from the 90s they are kind of dying here a little bit on the inside from being worn a lot but I like these they're also again super comfortable they're a little weird feeling because I think they are polyester they're mostly polyester yes which it feels kind of odd it's kind of rough but in a weird way they're comfortable still so uh, yeah I really like these and my only other pair of pants, I don't have very many pants, but oh well, um, is this pair. This is my favorite, favorite pair of pants. Maybe even my favorite piece of clothing ever. These are actually a sustainable brand. They're called uh, Kowtow, and this is their building block. And this is 100% organic certified cotton. So this is like super nice. It looks a little weird on cam. It looks almost black or gray. I think it's because of the lighting it's looking really weird, but it's like a bluish, maybe even a little teal, but no, not teal, it's like bluish gray, or maybe even a little green, I don't know what it is, but I think it's really nice, and it has like a little bit of color that's not black, white, or gray, um, but it's still very simple. This top I'm using as an extra item, and it is actually, it's on elastic, so I'm having fun with it. Um, this one is also one of my most worn tops. I bought it and then I didn't wear it like forever because I was like, oh my god, I don't have a bra that goes with it because I can't wear it because it has stupid straps. And I was like, let's try a strapless bra. And you could, of course, see that through it because it was dumb and it was a bad strapless bra. But then I realized 
just just wear it without a bra so yeah i don't really care anymore i'm adding this as an additional item i didn't count this with the 10 items because i think it's more of like a tank top like a it's like a bra but i wanted to use it as an extra so i hope you guys will forgive me for that um and then i have two pairs of shoes i have my totally beat up reeboks i bought these before i went um no fast fashion and as you can see they're really dead and i'm looking for they smell gross i can't smell any shoes <laughs> should never put shoes near her face um i wear these every single day that's why they look uh, like shit honestly they look like i like i don't know they look like they've been living in the streets but they're still comfortable and i'm looking for new shoes i found these beautiful vegan shoes on veja but veja veja i don't know how to say it but they're sold out and they keep saying we're never going to restock and then they restock and i'm really confused uh but they don't have them in my size um so i'm still on lookout for some new sneakers because um i need to get some new ones and i've been trying to find some in the secondhand stores but i have a size 40 and a half in the thrift stores i haven't been able to find sneakers that fit me and are like this more chunky sneaker like i used to wear all-stars but those are not really comfortable to me because I can feel the ground through my feet and if I want to feel the ground I'll just walk barefoot or wear slippers um and then I borrowed these boots from my little sister uh who ha who has like crazy boots but these are just um you know plain black boots they're like I don't know how to describe these they're like Chelsea boots but high I don't know they're just black boots so also something that I think a lot of people will have there's leaves on the bottom of them cool um but yeah also be using like some belts and accessories i'm not counting those because you can dress up an outfit with that really easily and you can make outfits look different also hairstyles so i'm going to put on the first outfit now and i'll see you guys in a sec okay guys so this is my first outfit i wear this like two times a week maybe three when i get home from school i just put this on it's just the pants i just put on my sneakers um yeah i just tuck in my sweater i added some earrings we can't see because my phone is there i added some earrings um just so it's more acceptable if i go outside um and i like this because i think it's cozy but i don't look like uh i just woke up but yeah i really like this outfit it's just very simple i yeah I just like it. Okay guys, so this is my second outfit and I have my blouse on. It's blouse and I really like this because it shows off a little skin but it's still very like, I don't know, I feel like sophisticated when I wear this. Um, I just kept my hair and my accessories the same because I don't really do that much with my hair or accessories. Um, yeah, so. And just my same pants again. I put on these boots. Usually I'd wear this with my sneakers, but I thought if you want to be a little bit more fancy, it's probably good to put on some boots. And I like how this tucks, it goes a little over. I wish it would be a little less here on the sides uh, when I tucked it, but I don't really care. You don't have to always wear bodycon stuff to look nice, that's what I'm trying to say, I think. Um, you could also put on a necklace, but I like having a longer neckline because it makes me feel, especially when I'm wearing high-waisted stuff, it makes me feel like... Um, a little longer like feel taller that's also why these boots are nice because they make me feel a little bit taller and I am five foot four so I'm not super short I'm not super tall so yeah let's go on to the next outfit okay guys this is my third outfit and I think this is going to be my last outfit with um, with these pants uh, I'm wearing them again um, but this is also one of my favorite outfits I like it because I can take you know this off and if it's really warm somewhere uh, but I have this and I can even close it when I'm cycling so I'm not cold and I just still same jewelry because I'm simple gal that way uh, and I like this I like that it kind of hangs over my waist a little I don't you know I don't know I don't think it would look good if it was cropped um, yeah I like how it goes more up in the back it's a little lower in the front but it's oh sorry my camera's going all over the place I have not filmed like this before so excuse me and I'm wearing this right now with the boots, but I would wear this with either boots or sneakers. Um, boots for a little bit more, making it a little bit more like a fancier outfit. Not that this is my idea of fancy, but like, 
it makes it a little bit more dressed up oh sorry i'm going sorry <laughs> for the camera movement um but yeah and with sneakers it's just a little bit more chill okay i know i said that this was going to be my last outfit with these pants i tucked my hair into my jacket oops um <laughs> but uh i was changing into my other outfit and i realized this looks pretty cool with these pants as well i usually don't go for like a baggy on baggy look but I feel like this is kind of a mood, you know? It's like a little edgy, a little sophisticated, a little like cozy, I don't know. I'm sorry if my phone keeps going in front of my face, um, but you guys can hear me anyway, so. Uh, and it's mostly the outfit that's important and then just the boots again. You could put the sneakers with this, but I don't know if that would be super nice. If you have some more like, need some black sneakers, I would go for some black shoes, any kind of black shoe, honestly. Uh, maybe not flip-flops, because this is the winter and fall thing. But yeah, I really actually like this. And this jacket has pockets, so that's always nice. So yeah, let's go on to the fifth outfit, guys. I would have never thought of putting this together, and I'm kind of, I was like, I'm like, okay, sometimes I'm like, do I like this? Do I like this? I don't know. But then I'm like, yeah, I like this. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I just threw over this sweater because if you're cold, this is really easy and it's easy to take off. So you can also just wear it on its own, which is also super cute. Oh, I'm literally just turning my camera with me, which does not give you guys any good views, but like it looks super cute. I like how this looks. Um, yeah, I was super surprised that I liked this. It's like kind of like, mm, grandma-y but tough I don't know I like it yeah I really like this so and these are the first times first time wearing these pants in this video so yeah I think they're super cute okay guys so this is outfit number six uh it's kind of similar to the first outfit only with different pants and I put on the boots um this is kind of like the first outfit but it's more of a like fancier version and I think this would look really cute with a faux leather jacket I don't have one but my sister and my mom do so occasionally I'm like I'm going to steal your jacket now um but I think and if you have a good leather jacket like faux leather jacket oh I actually do have a leather jacket but it's vintage first of all I did not buy a leather jacket like just like that uh, it's again from my mom from New York, uh, but it's like a brown one, which would also look really cute with this um, But that sounds stickers and I don't feel like grabbing it right now um, But yeah, like faux leather jacket secondhand leather. I don't know um, I don't know just a maybe even like a fluffy coat like I don't know if the, This is just an easily dressed down and dressed up kind of look I just cut my hair in a bun for this because I think it looks a lot more sophisticated when you put your hair in a bun instead of just like um handing it down i don't know i don't know why that's just what it feels like my first outfit where i'm like i don't know and it's mostly because i really don't know about this turtleneck because it's like it's a small but it's really big and i i like my turtlenecks to be tight and i never know what to do with this to fold it over but then it looks kind of dumb too now it looks extra dumb. I don't know. I, I really, I, I'm, turtlenecks that you have to fold over. Now it looks dumber. I think I just made it worse. Okay, let's just put it back up again and pretend I have no neck. Um, but yeah, this dress also. I like this dress, but it's not really flattering. Uh, like, like I said, I like loose clothing, but this is kind of like it kind of clenches onto my thighs but then this is kind of like awkward and my boot neither my boots nor my uh sneakers really look good with this they look kind of awkward so i'm not loving this outfit but you know it was bound to happen and i like this dress but then it has like i don't know i like it but then and if you try to put a belt around it it just looks a little dumb i really like it and i kind of hate it at the same time so <laughs> Let's move on to the next one, I guess. Guys, I'm now trying to redeem this dress and my bun is falling out, so please just excuse my hair. I put this sweater and I just closed it and I put it like sort of backwards so it's a little bit more cropped here. So I think it accentuates my waist 
a little bit like not very much but enough for me for this outfit and and now the boots actually don't look as terrible because I'm wearing a black top that's what it looks like from the side it's kind of cute now and also ooh, again turning the camera I think it's really cute if you just kind of pop your shoulder out it's really cute I just looked at it I was like oh it looks so cozy but like I really actually like the idea of wearing a dress I love how it goes like I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I really like dresses, I guess, for fall and winter. And this is, like, a very versatile dress. And even though it did, it, I did a lot like that last outfit, this is much more me. So, yes, this was outfit number eight. So let's go on to outfit number nine. Hey, guys, so this is outfit number nine. We're almost done. This took me so long, and I'm not, oh, I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> oh, well, here's my socks. Um... <laughs> Uh, yep, I'm kind of going crazy right now. This is, well, it's getting harder than I thought. Like, I could make more outfits with the other pants, but then they'd just kind of be the same, and I think that's kind of cheating. I don't know if it's cheating. I don't know. I just, I, I want to do it right. <laughs> um, so, good news. These do fit, um, but I can't zip them all the way up because I'm by myself, and my arms can't go like that. And, of course, I can't tuck a sweater into nothing, so I just put on a belt. <laughs> just tucked it into it. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's cute. I don't love it. Also, this pantsuit is, like, tight around my thighs, and it's kind of loose here, and I'm like, <sighs> what? Also, I, I should not buy non-stretchy pantsuits, because my torso goes from here to, oh, wait, I, you can't see that, from here to here which is really long um so stuff kind of fits me weird so i'm going to go to outfit 10 now and then we'll be done the last outfit and it went kind of crazy because i realized that this pattern is almost identical this is like little sideway lines Ooh, sorry my mirror's really dirty oh okay let's not go too close to the mirror um but uh, I hope you guys haven't just seen Dirty Mirror all the time, because I'm sorry. Um, but I put on a belt so it didn't look totally drowned in stripes, and I put on the boots. I don't like this, like, weird bit of ankle. I don't. It's more like calf. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of crazy. Um, also, if my top is being weird, it's because I can't zip it all the way up like I said in the last outfit. So this is a little loose is because I can't zip it up. I wouldn't wear this probably. Um, I don't know, it's a little crazy. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good end to the last outfit, I guess. Hey guys, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, <laughs> I'm still wearing my crazy pinstripe matching suit thing. Pinstripe? I don't know, striped? With their little dots so I said pinstripe I don't know if that's correct um but yeah I really enjoyed this and I challenge you guys to do it at home if you do let me know how it goes um oh my god my hands are so okay <laughs> um but yeah I think also let me know what your favorite outfit was I think mine might have been the dress with the black sweater I'm so okay stop 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 I'm shaking I need to not shake um, my, I think I love the dress with the black top, and let me see, any, like, because that was, like, a really new thing that I never thought of. I also liked the black pants with the short sleeve top and the black sweater again. Uh, yeah, I actually liked most of them, maybe except for this one, it's kind of weird. I don't not like it, I just don't think I'll wear it. Um, and the outfit before this was okay, I wouldn't wear it probably, um, the one with a turtleneck that we will not speak of. Um, I don't like that one. But uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite was. And yeah, if you like this video, feel free to like. Feel free to not like. Whatever you feel like. Um, yeah, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, also, I want to start this thing that I asked. Oh my god, stop shaking. <sighs> I'm going to get really angry at myself. I wanted to do this thing where I ask a question. At the, I'm just going to wait one second. I'm just going to put you guys down because, uh, sorry for this really shaky part. Um, 
I'm just going to crouch. Um, so I wanted to start and I wanted to do a uh, like question at the end of each video. So today my question is, first of all, what was your favorite outfit? And then let's see, um, how many items of clothing do you have in your closet or do you think? Because I'm not asking you to count. Don't count your socks, please. Um, but yeah, I was just wondering how many out, like pieces of clothing do you have in your closet? I think I probably have a lot because I have divorce parents, so I have clothing at both houses. I'm guessing like maybe around 400. I'm going to end this video now before I go into a full-blown panic attack about how much clothing I have and how much of it I don't wear and I should donate. Um, yeah. So I think it's good to sometimes go through your clothes and realize, wow, I really don't need new clothes. And this is a really fun way to do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.